think people considered you sort of a renegade climber? They probably think I'm pretty independent. It's all right, I don't care what they think. He was driven like no way I'd ever met, relentlessly. You think you can make it to the summit, Fred, on this trip? I don't know, I hope so. He's had to leave a few burning bridges behind in order to live the life that he's wanted to live. Fred chose this other lifestyle. He created his own culture. He became a culture of one. It's a grandfather of the road trip. His name is everywhere. He was there before the rest of us were. The guy knows more about the mountains of North America than anyone that's ever lived. It's just one track mine most of the time. If it wasn't on women, it was on climbing. Fred was lively and addictive. There's some sort of magnetism there. Right now, I don't know what I'm doing except tomorrow. I have no idea. As kids, we were together all the time. Our relationship deteriorated because he continued to climb and I did not climb anymore. Fred was only focused on climbing and he never felt sorry for you if your climbing ended up in a divorce. Totally obsessive. That's who Fred is. You know, obsessive behavior can lead to absolute genius. Some people may think it's an adventure to go on a cruise ship to the Mediterranean. To me, it's no adventure at all. It's Somebody bombs the ship. His contemporaries, they founded companies. They were like movie stars for a while. That was, to me, has been one of the great mysteries. Why did the best climber of all never go on to the greatness that they all did? He's a dirtbag, and because of that, I don't think he'll get the recognition that he really deserves. <laughs>